versus fighting championship brings to you in association with Mong Call, a super fight featuring two San Diego natives. First, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 168.8 pounds. He stands six feet tall even. This is his professional debut. Fighting out of the blue corner and representing San Diego, California, James Butterscotch Boss Utah. His opponent fighting out of the red corner went in at 167.2 pounds. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and this is also his Muay Thai debut. Representing Spring Valley, California. Fighting out of the red corner, Daniel Panda Cesena. This battle is brought to us by Monko. Well, clearly, Daniel Cesena is definitely the crowd favorite here tonight. Uh, I mean, this is, they, these guys just look like polar opposites. I'm really excited to see this fight. We have, uh, we have James Uton, who's very tall, looks like he's in great shape. And Daniel Cesena, shorter, build like me, bulky guy. Let's see what happens here. You know, that bulkiness definitely can have its advantages. And already going down to the legs. Oh, and good kicks by Uton. Oh. Good inside. oh, and Daniel Cicena lands a right hand and rocks you in. And now going Daniel Cicena going after it. I don't believe that anybody expected the fight to start like this, Melina. This is definitely a little bit unexpected. Going in, going hard, and going fast. Going in there, trying to capture that victory. That's what it's all about. And you and Dan, you and threw a lead kick. Cicena walked right into it. But he seems unfazed by all that stuff so far. Sizing you and moving forward. Good knee from Newton. Good push kick. Good teeth kick. I'll tell you this is 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 Newton is, is definitely uh, to me appears to be a a counter fighter at the beginning, but he's not been able to get any shots in. Because the Senna is not making any pivotal mistakes. You know, I think Uton is doing a great job using his teeth to keep Sasena at a distance. Sasena's really trying to close the distance. Good nice spinning, spinning punch. Basket. Very, good very spinning good. Punch. Very good by, oh my goodness. Uton with the kicks just opening up. Daniel Sasena just coming in with powerhouse punches. Uton needs to be very careful with that. Locking horns now, jacking for a position it out in the corner. Good knees from Newton. Oh! Newton follows up with a kick. And Sisena responds. These fighters are brawling in there right now. This yeah. is very impressive. This is definitely not a, a, a typical Muay Thai match. They are grabbing each other. They are throwing each other. They are... They are wiping the ring with each other. This is something very vicious. And speaking of vicious, that kick did him no favors. Pushing him back down to the rope. As the center pushing down, Newton trapping him down to the corner. Exchanging knees, both fighters. Sasena knees to the leg. Newton knees to the gut. And here we go back in the clinch. Let's see how they work it. Newton working some body blows. You and following up with knees. Sasena trying to turn the corner. Good job by Uton utilizing that teep kick. That's what I was talking about in the last fight, where he needs to utilize the teep kick to keep his opponent at a distance. When you have an opponent that is you are seriously taller than, you cannot let them close the distance. Absolutely. You have those long limbs. You have to use that to your advantage. And the bell is done. Round one is history.
Wow, that was that was very very impressive. Um, I that that's that was an even evenly matched round to me. You know, I I like what James Uten is doing. He's using his teep kick. He's trying to use his distance. He seems like a very very good striker. Just the way he punches, the way he's using the space between him and Sasena, I think that that's a huge advantage for him. However, on the flip side of it. Daniel Sassena's doing a great job at closing the distance. Early on, Newton came out, and he seemed to dominate in the first couple seconds, and Daniel Sassena led with a solid right hand and completely rocked you and changed the pace of the round. Let's see what happens here. Now, I would have to say that Sassena definitely was doing everything he can to make sure that he was in there on par with with Uten, and I don't think anybody really expected that to happen. But nonetheless, here we are in the midst of round two. Both both. Bulls now jacking for position again, going back in in that clench. And it's not good when you put your hands up there, exposes all that body. And that is not a favorable position to be in with a man with the legs as long as Newton is. Newton with a good teeth kick there, just use, using his distance, using his legs very well. Sasena pushing forward. Solid body shots from Newton. Good combo from Sisena. Again, now we are we we are locking horns here, trying to get the better of each other. Both have fantastic knee strikes and leg strikes. And speaking Ooh. of leg strikes, that was beautiful there by Sisena. Now to Uten. Big, big shots there to the body there by Sassena to Uten. And what's turnabout is fair play. That was gigantic. Look at those strikes in the gut and to the ribs. You ain't going to be able to take much more of that. Unbelievable things are happening right now. This is insane, Molina. Wow, that was incredible. Uten followed up with kicks and knees, and Sassena responded and stumbled Uten back. These guys are warriors in there right now. It's incredible. They both are just as tired. They're both moving forward and pushing. I want to see what happens next. Ooh. Ooh, that was that was nasty. I, I definitely think something is going on now with with Sasena's with, with, with Sasena's face is starting to swell up and get more red. And you notice something right now in Molina is that every single time the referee breaks away, Sasena goes out and capitalizes and charges right into Uten's into Uten's guts and face and making sure he capitalizes on that situation. Very, very smart fighting as Sasena. Sasena's doing a great job at closing the distance, but in the clinch, I'd like to see Sasena hip in a little bit more. His hips are far. When his hips are far, you see that loads up Uten for those knees, and Uten is landing a lot of knees on Sasena's gut right now. Nasty shots to the body. Both these men are laying it in. Both these men are putting every single ounce of power they can into the other person's guts. And look at Sasena. He has winded. He is tired. The next few seconds of the round are ending, and he has to make sure he doesn't run out of gas before the end of this bell. Fantastic round. Fantastic round. Wow. That was that was pretty awesome. You know, I have to say, uh, again, it's a pretty evenly matched round, but I think that that round swayed a little bit closer towards you. Uh, you know, he's he's doing a great job responding to Sasena. Now, Sasena's closing the distance. Sasena's landing shots as he closes the distance. Then he's engaging in the clinch. What Uten is doing that makes the difference, in my opinion, is he's using the knees. He's using the knees to make Sasena immediately want to retract from the clinch. And then as they escape, Uten is the one following up with punches and kicks. And Sasena is just weathering the storm. It's so incredible. He's like an ox because he's taking the damage and he keeps just moving forward. And you have to wonder what the judges are seeing and how they're scoring this right now. Absolutely, and I, and I will and I will say this: I slightly disagree with your observations. I believe that Sasena definitely has that round, only because 
is that every single time they were in locking horns, every single time they were in a lock and a clench, as every single time the referee broke that up, so sent a charge right into Uten and punished him for his distance and carelessness in protecting his body. Everything relies on this final round tonight. Oh, that was nasty. Absolute nasty. Kicks down by Uden now. To Zizena. As Zizena is already tired, he's already gassed. And these kicks aren't going to do him any favors. Pushing him back now to the ropes. Wow. Ooh, as a solid left hand from Uten. Ooh, another body shot. Wow, Zizena looks tired. That, that that wear on his body, I think it's starting to get to him. Whoa, that was absolute nasty. Nasty head kick by Uten to Zizena. Clenching back wow, and forth now are these two men. Fantastic job. Very, very smart fighting. Those knees from Uten are really starting to dig into Susena. Susena's just laying those shots in. Laying those shots in. And, and, and I would say, unfortunately for Susena, his power is not in his punches. But it's in those knees, it's in those kicks. He needs to utilize those, just like Uden just did. This is Senna's face just now. Wow. Uden's doing a good job. Whenever there's distance, he's attacking where he can. That's exactly what a taller fighter is supposed to do. Because as you, oh, good right hand by Uden on Sasena. Sasena now is in trouble. Sasena now weathering down on the ropes. This is not a good spot right now if Uden can capitalize, but the referee is going to break this one up. Great job by Sasena to continue moving forward. He's just a warrior in there. Very, very impressed with the heart of both of these fighters. Uten's doing a good job because what happens is the fight goes on. The shorter fighter needs to close the distance, but he's going to take longer to do so because he's more tired. And Sasena's not giving him any break. Susena's making, or Uten is making Susena move in. Otherwise, he's going to have to deal with these kicks. And then he's following up with knees in the clinch. Ooh, Ooh. good leg kick. Uten almost taken down there by that kick. He was rocked a little bit. If he was if he was knocked down, Susena definitely would have had this round one. Oh, no. We have another low blow. Oh, he's good to go. Let's finish this one strong, boys. Absolute tenacity by these two individuals. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Punching out of that. Continuing to punish those ribs is... Sasena now taking the brunt of all that punishment. But Sasena fighting back and Uden fighting back. Unbelievable contest by these two wow. individuals. How do you even begin to wow. score that one, Melina? Let's hear from both these gentlemen. And for your winner, by unanimous decision, uh, fighting out of the blue corner, James Butterscotch Boss, you